Whoa, okay. The overall energy of this card, the Five of Cups, this is looking at the spilled cups of love, disappointment, you know, disillusioned. But the thing about this card is I call it the card of hope because there's two cups still standing behind this figure. And uh, I bet you're going to turn around. I see other cards, and I think you're going to be able to leave this, this disappointment and love behind. And I think you are going to turn around and um, look at the hope of love in your future here. Up here in your highest energy is the Ten of Pentacles. This is one of the best cards in the deck. This is security, stability. This is union between two people. There's extended family, couple pets, and a child in this card, all under one roof. This is a card of commitment. It's sitting right next to the Emperor. The Emperor is a card for Aries. So Aries might be strong in your chart, might be strong in, in someone else's chart around this reading. It's right above this Five of Cups, looking at the Spilled Cups. So I, I feel... I feel like because you're focusing on those cups, that this is someone else's energy that's part of those cups. This is someone, male or female, that is um, pretty stubborn, fixed-minded, um, my way or the highway. Sometimes, you, you know, in their energy, they're very well liked and respected by others. But that's, you know, a lot of times that's their outward appearance. But there's part of them, when you get to know them, that is very stubborn very single-minded, like they see things their way. It's very hard for them to see things another person's from another person's point of view. I feel like you might have had some sort of commitment going with this emperor, male or female. They like to be leaders. They like things to be their idea. It's right next to the hanged man, the emperor is. This is a card of enlightenment from the universe. So, hmm... Let me look around that card. I see the Emperor. And I see the Knight of Swords. You're cutting that energy out. This energy is not going to stick around all that long. You're cu also cutting out this disappointment and love, which is right under the Emperor. I think this Emperor uh, doesn't have to be Aries. It's just kind of a, a stubborn nature uh, within them. Um, I just think that this person wasn't right for you. You thought it was leading to a commitment, or you might have been in a commitment, but it, it just wasn't working. Um, they may have said something hurtful, but somehow your cups got kicked over. Your love is just not there like it used to be. So under the Ten of Pentacles is the Two of Wands. You're ready to, you got the whole world in your hands here, and you're ready to, um, you know, see what's out there for you. You're not moving yet, and not in this card. You're standing there contemplating the world in front of you. So yeah, I feel like that this emperor is connected to that Ten of Pentacles, but you are actually, you know, cutting out this energy of being so disappointed and disillusioned and, uh, you know, in love. And I think it was with whoever carries this energy. It doesn't have, like I say, it doesn't have to be Aries. But once you cut out your disappointment, you're going to turn around and see those two full cups. So there is hope because you're looking out over the world. You're regaining yourself. We have the page of wands under the two of wands. This is almost like you making a declaration. Like, um, hear ye, hear ye, world. I'm coming out there again. And I am ready for a new life. This is like... Pulling it from the bottom of your feet, coming out your mouth, and it's like making a declaration. You're actually facing the Empress here. The Empress is the card for Libra. Um, one of the cards for Libra, male or female. Uh, the Empress can be male or female. But this is a lovely, I think what you're stating here is that you are, you deserve better things. You deserve a better life. You deserve someone who's in your life who has a lot of the same qualities as you. The Empress carries qualities of love, first off, consideration, thoughtfulness, kindness, uh, gratefulness. Um, I could go on and on with the, the excellent qualities 
that the Empress carries, uh, that more people should. But you have a lot of those qualities, and whoever's going to make you happy is going to be in those two full cups behind this figure here. We'll have to have some of those qualities. So I feel like this is making a declaration to yourself that you're not going to um, settle for someone who is not right for you now. You, you want someone who can see things uh, the way you see them too. Whether or not they have a different idea, you just want them to be able to to communicate better, to, to uh, you know, it's like the meeting of the minds. You, you need this in your life. On the other side, once you find somebody like that, once you cut out this disappointment here, we have the Ten of Cups. You know, so this is what you're going for. You're standing there looking out over the world. You're wondering, where is my Ten of Cups? Because I think the love was kind of missing in this other relationship. I feel like it was like... It's like grounded, uh, it was pretty secure, maybe financially, but I think the love was lacking. Because here we have the Ten of Cups, and I think you're realizing, I need somebody who can return my love. I want to be able to hand out Ten Cups of Love and have them return it, and I want there to be a lot of joy and have a family together. Let's get the rest of your reading, Leo. The Nine of Wands. This is feeling worn out. This is what happened in that relationship. You actually had to reach your wit's end uh, to uh, leave this relationship behind, to realize you weren't getting the love that you were getting. This is feeling beat up, worn out, drugged through the mud. It's all over those wands. There's a lot of them there. It's right next to the world card. New cycle. So you're, you're in this up here, you're looking away from this new cycle. You're actually looking at, so I think this is happening now. And I think on the back side of all this, like the back side of this figure right here, where you're going to be looking for love, uh, someone who has a lot of qualities that you have, there's a whole new life cycle coming in. It's not going to be, you know, if somebody comes in, if they come back and they want to rekindle this relationship, I don't think you're going to look at it. You have your arms crossed. You don't even, it's like, no, you want these cups, not that cup, because that cup, you're, you're done with. They, they tipped over, you know, so many cups that you just can't accept another cup from them right now. We have the Four of Pentacles. And this is under that Nine of Wands. You were stuck in this energy. You lived in this energy for a very long time. You felt lonely even when you were with the this other person. You felt rejected. You felt this is that you know part of this energy here of the five of cups. You felt left out in the cold. Um, this is a very spiritual card, the five of pentacles. This is a church. So you know what you need to do is just go in the church doors, and that's what you're doing by cutting out this energy. You're saying you know you've had enough. These two cards, you've had enough of this past energy. And you're ready. Like I said, this whole line starts with the Two of Wands and ends with the Three of Wands. So you, well, this is what you want to do. You don't want to look at that cup. You want to look out there and get ready to move forward. Both these cards are getting moving forward, okay? Moving away from this situation. The Three of Wands, the difference is there's three ships out there in the ocean. I don't know if you can see them. But you're waiting for your ship to come in again. You're waiting for someone to come in that has a lot of the same qualities that you have and can provide love, exchange, equal, equal cups of love. You were stuck in this energy, feeling worn out, drugged through the mud for quite some time. And you were only getting this page of cups. Look, there's a fish in it. Pisces might be part of this reading, might be high in your chart, might be strong in somebody else's chart. But um, this cup is tainted. Um, there's a fish in it. There's not a lot of room for love. I feel like this is kind of a cold-hearted person, just really like um, rigid and kind of matter-of-fact and, you know, just the facts, you know. And I feel like they just, they don't know how to hand out love. I don't, I don't know if they know how to tell you the truth right next to the king of pentacles right on the back side here they might be an earth sign too if they're not an aries or whatever but the king of pentacles this is about security and stability 
it, it's almost like it feels like male or female here. This is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, by the way. It feels like they were so focused on their own security and stability. Here, started with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, that, that's all they really focused on. They might have been a workaholic, so to speak. Always focusing on the money. Always focusing on the stability. On the things that they can buy. And uh, I just feel like it lacked the love. It's right next to that Page of Cups. You're moving forward. This Three of Wands. We have under that the Ten of Swords, which is next to the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like um, basically... This energy right here of only focusing on the pentacles um, killed this relationship. Uh, it became hurtful for you. It's like you, it's almost like it feels like you were disregarded uh, in a way. That, that they made something else much more important, it feels like, than you and your relationship with them. So you're ready, you're looking for love now in this relation in this. In your life, you're looking for love. You are entering a new life cycle here by rejecting this cup of love, by them rejecting them coming back and saying, oh, come on, you know, <sighs> let's try this again. I think you're done. But I do see a lot of hope here. The Ten of Cups. There's two cups. You're going to turn around and see it once, once you end this. And um, you're going to be ready. I don't see, you know, I can't read on. Uh, there's more readings coming out in April, which might tell me who might be coming in for you. So stay tuned.